हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फार्मास्यूटिकल कंसेप्ट टूडे लेट एस क्विकली सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वर्सेज स्पेक्ट्रोमेट्री एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब एंड कीप मोटिवेटिंग मी थैंक यू स्पेक्ट्रोमेट्री एंड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आर द टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्निक दैट वी यूज टू कैरेक्टराइज द मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके कैरेक्टराइज द मॉलिक्यूल मीन्स वॉट means if some unknown compound is given to me suppose some uh, white powder is given to me so what is that white color powder whether it is paracetamol whether it is ibuprofen whether it is something else okay so that means i need to know structure of that particular white powder or the liquid which is given to me as the sample or maybe if i have some herbal extract okay so in that herbal extract what are the chemical components present it is my uh, duty to find out the structure of those chemical components which are responsible for treating various elements okay so in that case the uh, this spectrometry and spectroscopy techniques they help us in identifying and in quantifying the chemical compound so when they are used for identification we call it as qualitative analysis when they are used to determine the concentration we call it as the quantitative analysis okay so let us see uh, what is the difference between spectrometry and spectroscopy these two words they are usually used interchangeably but there is slight difference in the way of working of these two techniques so let us see that now spectroscopy uh, where the electromagnetic radiations this we have uh, seen earlier okay electromagnetic radiations uh, is a quite a, a big topic in itself okay so we, we are not going in those details here but what we have to remember that in spectroscopy we are using electromagnetic radiations these all radiations uh, which start from gamma rays x rays then uv visible ir okay then we have microwaves radio waves and so on so uh, these all radiations they have energy with them okay they have energy with them so here if you see longer wavelengths are here shorter wavelengths are here energy we all know is inversely proportional to wavelength so more the wavelength or longer the wavelength that means lesser is the energy smaller is the wavelength okay energy is highest so these are the uh, high energy radiations whereas the radiation energy reduces on this side okay so we all know that uh, the electromagnetic radiations they possess energy with them and when they pass through any sample suppose i have this uh, solution of some chemical compound when these radiations are passed through this solution okay there is interaction of the uh, matter matter means my sample sample means the chemical compound which is present in that for example i am making a paracetamol solution in some suitable solvent okay that means paracetamol molecules which are there they will be interacting with these radiations when the radiations are passed through this particular solution so that interaction of the matter Uh, or the sample with the radiation that interaction we study under spectroscopy so study of interaction of emr and matter and after the interaction we understand how much energy is been taken up these radiations they have energy you know with them so that energy is been taken up by these molecules so how much energy is been absorbed okay how much energy is been transmitted without getting absorbed so these all things we usually study so there is only absorption emission transmission these things uh, are studied and those uh, will give us the idea about the uh, identification of the structure or uh, quantitative analysis okay so here we are not destroying the sample our sample is as such in this sample holder it is as such we are just passing the radiation through the sample that's it okay so what we have understood so far 
it is the study of how material responds to the electromagnetic radiation that is radiation with a wavelength from the electromagnetic spectrum power of beam of light is measured before and after the interaction of light with the matter so before interaction what was the energy uh, or power with the beam and after the interaction when it is coming out of this particular solution what is the energy okay so that energy difference will give us the absorption transmission okay uh, and the again emission emission when the particles for example the molecules have absorbed the energy from the radiations the Uh, they go to the uh, higher excited state for example electrons are going to the higher excited state sometimes it happens that when they are coming back to the ground state during that process they emit some radiation so that is called as emission so but that can be uh, learnt as a different uh, altogether a separate topic so study of absorption and emission of light and other radiations by matter is studied over here it is a study of interaction between particles such as electrons protons ions as well as their interaction with other particles as a function of their collision this is spectroscopy and what are the various examples of spectroscopy we have uv radiation okay that is uv visible uh, absorption spectroscopy so here molecules which absorb uv radiations okay uh, that means we valence electrons in a molecule which absorb uv radiations that is studied so there the sigma electrons are there pi electrons are there so sigma sigma star star transitions pi pi star transitions n pi star transitions okay these transitions uh, will give us the idea about the uh, structure of the molecule okay lambda max of the molecule all that information we get from the uv visible absorption spectroscopy same way we have um, ir absorption spectroscopy okay in ir uh, these ir radiations they have some energy when ir radiations are passed through the sample it results in the uh, bending and stretching uh, vibrations of the atomic bonds this can help us to understand what functional groups are present in the molecule okay mainly the functional groups which are present in the molecule then we have next example as nmr spectroscopy which studies how molecule respond to the radio waves okay so in particular uh, this causes some atomic nuclei hmm? so here basically we study nucleus how nucleus of the molecule responds to the radio waves which are being bombarded onto the sample so again in nmr we have 1h nmr c13 nmr f nmr so that can be studied as a separate topic 1h nmr videos are already there in the uh, on my channel you can check out that also on the other hand we have something called as spectrometry okay metry it does not involve exposing of molecules to electromagnetic radiations this spectrometry deals with the bombardment of the sample with high energy electric beam okay highly energetic electric beam electronic beam okay that beam is bombarded onto the sample which causes the breaking of molecules into smaller fragments so see here sample molecule is broken into smaller fragments that means it's a destructive technique i do not get my original sample back here and a very good example of spectrometry is mass spectrometry and in mass spectrometry uh, you must have seen uh, in the mass spectrometry videos uh, which are there on my channel that the gaseous sample is introduced into the instrument okay so this sample means what sample means nothing but a structure okay some structures i am passing in gaseous state into the instrument now when gaseous sample is introduced into the instrument those electrons hmm, these are not the radiations okay these are the electrons highly energetic electron beam is bombarded onto the sample suppose this is my sample now when it is bombarded onto the sample any one of the loosely bound electron 
from the sample is removed off so for example here lone pair of electron is there okay so this is loosely bound so any one of the loosely bound electron is removed off and that deficiency of electron is shown by the charge on the uh, sample okay and this is how the ions are formed now the extra energy which is there in these electrons that extra energy passes through all these bonds and these bonds are broken into the uh, various fragments okay so here thus we say that this is the uh, destructive technique okay where spectrometry deals with the bombardment of the sample with high energy electric beam which brings the breaking of molecules to smaller fragments i hope you have understood the difference between spectroscopy and spectrometry we can say that qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis i hope you have understood the concept if you have any doubts you can type in the comment section thank you very much and do subscribe if you have not yet subscribed the channel thank you bye have a nice day i hope you have understood the concept if you have any doubts you can type in the comment section thank you very much and do subscribe if you have not yet subscribed the channel thank you bye have a nice day